Megan Giglia, who won Britain's first gold medal at the Rio Paralympics, says sport gave her something to live for after she suffered a stroke and a brain hemorrhage aged 27. Giglia won gold in the c 1 33000 m cycling race on the opening day of the Games, beating American Jamie Whitmore into second place. She said she had taken extra motivation from 10-year-old Alastair Rowan, who suffered a stroke in July and is now recovering. At the time of the last Paralympics in London, Giglia was a sports instructor. But in January 2013, four months after the Games had ended, she had a stroke and brain hemorrhage, leaving her with restricted movement down her right side. Cycling formed part of her recovery and she told the BBC in August, I never dreamed I would get to this level, but it has allowed me to turn what was a bad situation into a good one. It gives me something to live for and I hope what I am doing can give other people hope that they can do something with their lives. Giglia, who lived in Stratford-upon-Avon before moving to Manchester where British cycling is based, dedicated her Paralympics victory to other stroke patients trying to come to terms with the effects and, in particular, to one 10-year-old schoolboy who had inspired her. Writing on her INSTagram page before the race, she said, My Paralympic Games kicks off tomorrow and every race I compete in I'm dedicating to individuals and their families who are all currently dealing with the after-effects of a stroke. Tomorrow is the 3 kilometers pursuit and is dedicated to a strong and determined young man going by the name of Alastair Rowan who is on his road to recovery and given me extra motivation to succeed, this one's for you Alastair. Alastair's father, Lee, told the BBC that Giglia had asked his wife, Fiona, if she could dedicate the race to their son after they were put in touch by charity different strokes. Giglia is a patron of the charity.